today's challenge is going to be what I call the Elven Strike. It's all happening on your anchor arm. Um, now, it's more of an aesthetic move that kind of imitates or simulates a bow and arrow kind of being shot off. You could do this with holding a loop or you can get yourself into a reel. So I'm going to get into a reel and now I'm going to be in an upspin. I'll just demonstrate first and I'll explain it after. So here. spin I'm going to lift my arm into a wing arm position so I place the line over the elbow over the bicep and then as it comes back up I'm going to put the tangle in the way of it I then go into dark wall and let it continue along dark wall as I turn 180 counterclockwise or to your anchor as you spin out and this is just the pre, uh, the setup to the beginning. It adds momentum to it, but it does get you to this neutral point, which you could just do the base mo motion of this from. And from here, so once you get into here, you get your arm out, it spins over, you collect the rope again, you hold up your thumb to have a thumb hold for the reel. Now you collect the rope, and as you collect it and it's going up, you're going to pivot again counterclockwise or towards your anchor. So from here, now once you start to orbit up and over the arm again, you're going to give a slight yank, which will shorten the distance to the fulcrum point and increase its momentum into a shot. Now it's important to keep your arms straight so that you have a, a surface for the fulcrum point and just so that the aesthetics doesn't look like you're releasing, it takes away from the look of a bow, or the look of a bow and arrow. So with a loop, wing arm, dark wall, wall, get your thing there, and shoot that. So you're gonna be in an upspin, whether you're in a reel or you're holding a loop, but I would prefer you hold a reel to make it look cleaner. So you're going to be in an upspin, you're going to wing arm, lay it over the bicep, get the tangle in the way, and it's going to land on the back of the arm or all the way on your back. And you're going to swing it towards your lead, up, and then while it's going this way, you can open this up to increase the momentum of the spin out so that you have uh, less time or so that you can continue the motion quicker. So you would want to then get your arm under the rope falling. You only want it to fall once, collect it and immediately turn. And so once it's starting to go over and it's falling, you can add a little resistance, a little bit of a tug on the line that's closest to the dart. So to do this more closely, get into a reel. From here, you're going to go up, collect it, it's going to be here, pivot, 
Now this is going to be on the opposite side, and you can just open it up to increase its momentum. And from here, you get your arm in, you put your thumb up to create the thumb hold, and you use your other fingers to grab the rope as it comes down, and you pivot again. Now, once you've pivoted, you're coming down still on a wheel plane. Now, you, you're going to add a little resistance as it comes up, and as it starts to fall, I'm going to yank ever so slightly just to shorten the distance of the fulcrum point, giving it more speed, and it'll give a bit more momentum to shoot out. And that's that. So that's the Elden Strike. Let's see what you guys got.